Our last example in 1.4 asks us to uh, take the graph of y equals x squared, or the uh, parent function y equals x squared, and transform it. Um, and the question actually asks you for the equation of the transform function. And it's uh, vague, so it doesn't ask you necessarily ask you for the explicit equation, or the function uh, notation equation, or even the transformation equation. So you're really open to answer this question any way you wish. Um, and then it follows up with what's the domain and range. So uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, we'll try to pick out um, all the transformations and then we'll write it in a couple different formats. Um, starting the parent function is y equals x squared. So if we wanted to write a function notation equation, we could start by formatting it as uh, y equals x squared. So we'll use uh, f of x and the parent function is x squared. And then inside, we'll try to write a transformation equation. So we know it's going to start with y equals, and there'll be an a value and our f for function. So we'll start structuring it around that. Now we'll try to pick out some pieces. Well, the graph's been reflected in the x-axis, and that means that a is negative. That's horizontally stretched by 3. Horizontally stretching by 3 is telling you something about k, and what it's telling you is that k is a third. It's also horizontally translated four units to the right. So that's a shift to the right. d is our shifts to left and right, and since it's to the right, it's positive and four units. It's vertically translated two units up. That's referring to c. So C is 2 because it's up, positive. And no more information about A. So that means that we can assume A is 1. But since it's reflected, A is negative. So that means A is negative 1. So to keep filling in our um, ex uh, function notation equation, I'm going to label it here, function notation. We can place A in front of F. So A is negative 1, so we have negative F. And then in our brackets, we do have a k and a d, so I'm going to use square brackets. k would go first, one-third, x, and then it's minus d. d is 4, so it's minus 4, and uh, plus c, and c is 2, so it's plus 2. If you forget where this comes from, it comes from the transformation equation structure that looks like a times f. And then inside the function, we have k times x minus d plus c. So we've just replaced each letter with what we picked out of the equation. That's the function notation. The explicit equation, function notation, explicit equation, we would combine these two. So wherever f is and that big square bracket, we're going to replace it with the equation, which is x squared. So our explicit equation would be uh, f of x equals negative bracket one third x minus four all squared plus two. We're taking out the square bracket and the f and replacing it with what is happening to x and that's it's being squared. So in that big bracket we're squaring it because it's the parent function. For domain and range it might help if we have a sketch so to sketch, we have a parabola. We're shifted to the right and up. So our vertex is going to be over here. And we're opening down, and we're horizontally compressing. Horizontally compressing doesn't change the domain of range, but the down does, because our graph is going to go like this. And since we're up to that maximum value is 2, and that's going to help you with your range. Your domain, since it's quadratic, would be just x belongs to real. And your range, since we're talking of f of x, would be that f of x belongs to real, such that f of x, I better hurry up, is less than or equal to 2. Square bracket, uh, squiggly bracket. So there's your domain, there's your range. That's taking. Our presence is now required for period three. Thank you.
That's taking uh, transformations in words and writing an equation and coming up with a domain range. Thank you for joining us, and I'll see you next time.